In this seven part series, we're gonna go over movement system analysis and strength training progressions. The goal of this series is to give you a systematic and step-by-step -step approach to assessing your clients, working out their movement capacity, working out what you need to improve, and then taking them into productive strength training programs. We wanna get as far away as possible from corrective exercise in the strength training to get clients the results that they actually come to the gym for. The scapula, what we need to remember is it moves in six directions. It elevates, it depresses, it upwardly and downwardly rotates, and it retracts and it protracts. So it goes through a lot of different ranges of motion. And the standard advice that all trainers give you is shoulders down and back. Shoulders down and back for rows. Shoulders down and back for bench. Shoulders down and back for overhead press. It doesn't really work like that. The scapula needs to move in concert with the glenohumeral joint. So the shoulder and the elbow. So if I'm pressing overhead, I actually want my scapula to upwardly rotate and elevate. That's maintaining integrity in the presence of change. If I'm pulling back, sure, that's when I want my scapula to retract because it's moving in time with what my glenohumeral joint is doing. Look at the exercises that you're doing with your particular clients and how are you cueing the scapula? Are you getting your scapula to follow the movement of the glenohumeral joint in the elbow or are you just using the kind of outdated advice, which we are all taught, to keep the shoulder blades down and back in every single exercise? When we go through the scapular humeral rhythm assessment, we'll see, particularly if we do that assessment on a personal trainer, someone who's been doing this for a lot, the scapula will actually lose the ability to rotate upwardly and to elevate. And then we're gonna see a whole bunch of problems with overhead pressing, shoulder pain, a whole bunch of different stuff there. So it's a really cool thing to be able to restore super quickly.